Hey, take what I beat it. Alright, what's going on my brodies? It is Andrew, Beta AT Production and Publishing, bringing you guys a new YouTube video. In this YouTube video, let's try to go over FL Studio in 8 minutes. So if you are new and you just want to consolidate uh, what you need to know to get started in FL Studio, hopefully this 8 minute video can teach you everything. You won't be a master, but you can, you know, get started. So, <clears throat> what are we doing? This is the channel rack. First off, I have FL Studio 12. I don't like the new versions. Uh, almost all this stuff still applies to what you have because they didn't really change it that much. More of like visuals. But okay, besides the point, currently I'm in the channel rack. The channel rack is also called the loop mode uh, for some people. Essentially what the channel rack is, it's a rack of your different channels. This is a channel, this is a channel, this is a channel, da 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 da. If I add um, this percussion rim from my uh, drum browser, and your drum browser is really just uh, FL Studio's uh, way of showing you your Windows uh, library. So essentially it's really not a browser, that's just accessing all your files that are on your computer. And I'll kind of show you like a thing on my screen, what that really looks like or what I really mean. All right, so when I drag it in here, I drag uh, that percussion rim uh, audio file into my channel rack loop mode. And it created a new rack with the percussion rim. So I got some drums, I got an 808 kick, da 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 da. Um, I'm gonna go ahead and replace this channel rack with a uh, piano. You can, you guys probably have FL keys. FL, key, FL keys is what comes with uh, FL Studio. I would use something else normally, but besides the point, uh, let's just use something that you guys would probably have. And in here, so it's a piano and it's a channel. It's its own channel. This is a uh, generator VST. You got two different types of VSTs. VSTs being virtual studio technology i think is what it is and what pretty much means it's a virtual instrument a uh, instrument that is a computer software on your computer fl keys is a generator uh, vst or software program and that being generator because it generates sound when i click it it generates sound whereas a effect VST, the other uh, VST, would be a uh, manipulating the sound, something like an EQ, something where we cut out a frequency. It doesn't generate a sound, but it modifies sound. Two different VSTs. And that those would go into your mixer. So, just random melody, something super simple, trappy. So I just created a little melody and I used this uh, program and went into the piano roll and created a melody around it. If I did my clap, clicking in a little point and a hi-hat, fill in two steps, it fills in one, skip to every two steps. Um, and so, I got everything laid out and I want to put it in my mixer because I want to put on effect VSTs to manipulate the sound. Maybe I think that piano is too loud and the hi-hats need to be louder. Go in here. This is our mixer. So now this is our mixer window. Go in here, right here. Channel routing. We're routing all of those channels. As I said, that's a channel rack. Route selected channels starting from this track. Boom. Now they're all in your mixer. I'm selecting them, holding control shift, pull it down, pull this down. And all of these sounds are gonna go into your master. So if I put a effect uh, VST in my master, it's gonna affect all of them. So you'll see what I mean. I put in gross beat, presets, uh, momentary, half speed. Half speed set. I turn it off, which is that green knob. Turn on, turn off. 
uh, how much you want it on, but I'm gonna turn it off. So, something like that. Boom, bada bing. If I scroll up, I'm in a new channel mode. So, I copy, go up, control B. I go into my playlist mode. This is our playlist mode or song mode because you're creating a playlist of the different channel rack uh, modes or your the different loop modes. So, here's one loop, here's one loop, here's one loop, here's one loop. That's actually too long. Let's just do pa pattern one. I'm going here to go to the different patterns of uh, channel racks I got. Channel rack one, this is the one with the drums. So, boom, boom, boom. I go here. Now, if I click play, it's just playing our uh, pattern mode. I need to go over here and click loop mode. So, or I could just uh, let's say let's say it's on your uh, loop mode. I could just double click. And it'll bring it in here. And I could go in here, make unique, pull this. I'm just pulling this down so it looks nice. Go in here. I can add our kick. Go over here. Make unique. Add an 808. Go in here, cut south. Boom. I just wanted to knock it down one octave, doing control down. Uh, go here, control A, select everything. I can go to file, export. MP3 file. And then pretty much you made your beat. And that's uh, Apple Studio in about eight minutes. Uh, obviously, there's uh, a lot more you can learn. Uh, there's a lot you can do. But this will give you the main idea of what FL Studio is, how to kind of use it, and how other people, like when you just get it and you have not a clue where to go this should help you um i know if i were to watch this i would probably have been like oh it makes a whole lot more sense too bad i started like you know nine years ago ten years ago there wasn't uh content like this available then so yeah hopefully me doing this helps uh the new cats out this is andrew be the at you guys want to get drum samples like what I used um, and plenty more and also melody loops, not the melody that I use because that's super simple, but more complex melody loops, go to b2at.com. I'll see you guys later.